Show people struggles. <laughs> All right. Now, now it's time. Uh, second practice. Second practice, okay.
Alrighty, we're just gonna have a walk around with some of the cars that they have in stock here at Shelby, South Africa. We've got this beautiful Ford Mustang. Uh, I believe it's a 67 or a 69. Absolutely epic spec. It's all black, right hand drive. It's actually being delivered in the next couple of days, so that is really awesome. So we can have a look on the inside, but we just can't get inside. Just see how immaculate this is. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. This is really cool. Really cool. If you guys are familiar with Gone in 60 Seconds, you remember that uh, Nicolas Cage's character drove something similar, but it was a Shelby GT500, aka Eleanor. This is probably the non Shelby version of that car. Absolutely amazing. This looks so good. Oh my gosh, I do not know the details of the engine and all of that jazz, but what a clean example. What a clean example. Look at that. We we'll move on to one of these. This is probably the same era as the left hand drive. These cars, because they were registered before 2000, it's okay to have them in South Africa. Anything after 2000 is you can't register it in the country. It has to be registered outside or you get a special permit where you get to bring it in for a few months each time uh, on your permit. So um, yeah, Mustang. This car's are really cool. So I think Ford is a brand that I've never really had much time with and just you know being able to be here and spend this much time with the cars is absolutely amazing. I mean, just have a look. Look at this, my goodness. Another left-hand drive example. I mean, they don't make them like this no more. They really don't. You get the mechanical clunk of opening the door. I mean, nowadays, everything is just soft closed, which is good. We're moving with the times, but there's just something about the sound that the car makes. And when you open the door, the clunk, the push, it's just amazing. Look at that. Look at that automatic. Oh, it's automatic. Probably a four-speed uh, automatic car. Oh, so cool. And you know what I really appreciate is car manufacturers Okay, it's not even closing. Probably need to give it a proper thud. I don't want to break the door, but... Ah! Okay, now it's closed. <laughs> really cool wheels. Check it back. Let me move on to this. Ooh, it's a convertible. We like that. We like that. Look at how cool this is. Oh my gosh. It's interesting to see like the new and the old right next to each other. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is where Ford started off. And this is where we're at right now. It's the current generation, but pre-facelift. This is this particularly special car. It's not, uh, it's not very stock. Nothing about this car is stock. It's got 800 horsepower. 800 horsepower. And it all goes to the rear wheels. Like, I mean, how crazy is that? How crazy is that? This is one of the very few and special cars available in South Africa. Oh my gosh. It's insane. Five liter. Supercharged V8, I believe, or 6.2 liter supercharged V8. Let's have a look at the spec sheet. It is right over here. Okay, makes the Shelby Tlangoa, automatic. It's only done 1,400. My gosh, 800 horsepower Whipple supercharger. <laughs> oh, Jack, this is insane. That is the spec list. All of this, all of this. Let's just get that in focus. There we go. It's insane. Just insane. Carbon fiber on the hood. You got the Telangua little thingy over there. I think other media personalities are doing something over there. I don't know what's happening. But let's just have a walk around real quick. Ah, oh, Cobra. Man, these are so cool. There's a place in Cape Town that has these and you can actually go out and have a drive. I mean, just look how elegant it looks. You've got the exhaust pipes right there, right there. So you gotta be careful as you enter and exit the car because if you accidentally just get in contact with that, it could burn you because <laughs> it's, it's that hot. I mean, it's a small car, but it is wide. I mean, look at that. I mean, how crazy is that? It's insane. I think the handles are on the inside. Um, how do you open it? Because there's nothing on the outside. So definitely you have to open it on the inside. Just don't know where it is. No idea. Looking for something here, nothing. Ah, oh, there we go. Very small though. <laughs> but yeah, and then you greet it with this uh, 
60s interior. It's an amazing story that the Shelby Cobra has. Initially, this car, these cars were built in England under the guise of AC. I think the company name was AC. And then uh, Carol Shelby in the States got a hold of them and like, you know what? As all Americans do, just shove a big V8 in there and it solves all your problems. <laughs> and it became the icon that it is today. Oh man. What would you have? Let me know in the comments below. Either the red with the black stripe or the blue with no stripe. I think the blue, this is classic um, Ford Mustang. Well, Shelby color to begin with actually. So uh, yeah, that's actually pretty awesome. 460 Ford Cobra, so 460, that's 460 cubic inches. That's how big the engine is, which is fairly massive. That could be, wow, into liters. That is seriously big. I'll probably pop that onto the screen or it'll be in the description below. So you guys can know just how much, or just how big this engine is. Oh my goodness. Damn. It's amazing to see some of the mechanics. So cool. And then you've got the uh, Daytona, Shelby Daytona which is a hot top version of what this is. I mean, would you just look at that? It's open, uh, looking like a proper transformer. Oh my gosh. Woo! All right, Shelby Daytona Coupe. It's manual, registration year 2017. It's only done 2,500 miles. Wow. 427 cubic inches. I believe that's like seven liter displacement, if I'm not mistaken, I think. It's got a five speed gearbox. And look, I like the demarcation in there. That is so cool. That is really cool. Oh my word. Look at all the workings. Oh my gosh. Carol Shelby is the block itself. I believe. Is that the supercharger or is this just a belt? It's all confusing for me when I look down here. <laughs> wow. It's insane. Really cool. Really cool. This is very light. I'm trying to really close this, but it's not like it's not heavy. It's not very heavy. And I'm just doing that with like one hand. It's really insane. Side exhaust. That is cool. That is so cool. That is hot. Let's have a look in the interior. There you have it. Pretty simplistic, nothing too crazy. Uh, and remember, these cars are rear wheel drive, so all the power goes to the back. It's crazy. And then we have the GT40, um, which is clearly marked do not touch. This is right hand drive. I am not sure if this is the actual thing or a replica. Dare I say it? I'm not sure. I do not know but it got its name from the fact that it is 40 inches above the ground 40 inches above the ground my gosh look at that this is the car that won back in was it 66 or 67 uh basically ford built this to build to race against ferrari and to win and they managed to do that with pole positions i think one two and three although a couple more examples were actually on the track but yeah they took pole position and they managed to do uh, to beat ferrari in those years back then in the late 60s and um yeah ford just proved what they wanted to do so this is the first generation we currently have the third generation this was back in the 1960s there's one that was introduced i think 2005 thereabouts and then more recently i think 2018 or 17 the latest ford gt unfortunately that has a v6 but it still punches um quite a lot of power about 647 horsepower from a three and a half liter v6 so really cool car that is awesome actually before we forget there's a little example here i don't know what this is looks like a cortina i believe this is a ford cortina but in race spec uh it's got racing six you see there's no tread on it so that shows you that it is a racing car no windows you've got that funny um plastic like thingy going on there it's actually pretty strong you can't call it plastic but um, yeah, completely stripped out. There is nothing except the driver's seat. So only the essentials have been kept. Only the essentials have been kept. You got the roll cage, no passenger seat. Everything has been stripped out for the racetrack because weight is an enemy of progress when it comes to racing. You want to be as light as possible to be able to go as fast as possible. So yeah, really cool car. So it turns out I actually suck at simulation racing. Um, so much for a petrol head, right? Um, yeah. I just suck. I didn't finish. I did not finish the race in four attempts. They gave me four chances and I still did not finish it. I mean, you're driving a Ford Mustang with rear wheel drive, massive V8. It's, it's, it's crazy. It's all over the place. It's crazy. I mean, people on YouTube make it look so simple, but I struggled like the entire time. It was so sad. It was so bad, but I hope to get better at it. Um, hopefully we might have some future stuff of that. If you want to see more content, 
just drop, let me know in the comments below and we'll, we could plan that. But uh, it was absolutely sad, like that was really bad. Anyway, uh, something I want to draw your attention to is this weekend is actually World Mustang Day. That's something I did not know about until a few days ago on social media and eventually got the invite to come here and check it out. A couple of journalists uh, in preparation for what's going to happen tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. A whole lot of owners are going to show up in their Shelby Mustangs or standard Mustangs and all and just the whole enchilada basically and it's going to be amazing so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, stay tuned for some awesome track content but for me and today thank you so much for tuning in please subscribe like share let me know what you think in the comments below do not comment negatively about my simulation driving okay <laughs> it was so bad but anyway thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.